Maiti, also Manipuri, Maithai, Mite, Mitilan, is the predominant language and lingua franca in the southeastern Himalayan state of Manipur, in northeastern India. It is the official language in government offices. Maiti is also spoken in the northeast Indian states of Assam and Tripura, and in Bangladesh and Burma, now Myanmar. It is currently classified as a vulnerable language by UNESCO. Maiti is a tonal language whose exact classification remains unclear. It has lexical resemblances to Kuki and Tankul Naga. It has been recognized under the name Manipuri by the Indian Union and has been included in the list of scheduled languages included in the 8th schedule by the 71st Amendment of the Constitution in 1992. Maiti is taught as a subject up to the postgraduate level PhD in some universities of India apart from being a medium of instruction up to the undergraduate level in Manipur. Education in government schools is provided in Maiti through the 8th standard. Name The name Maiti or its alternate spelling Maithai is preferred by many native speakers of Maiti over Manipuri. The term is derived from the Maiti word for the language Maitheron, Maithai plus Lan. Language. Maithai may be a compound from me. Man. Plus they. Separate. This term is used by most Western linguistic scholarship. Maiti scholars use the term May H -te when writing in English and the term my thereon when writing in Maiti. Chelia 2015-89 notes that the Maiti spelling has replaced the earlier Maithai spelling. The language and people is also referred to by the Lokanam Manipuri. The term is derived from name of the state of Manipur. Manipur itself has a mythological folk etymology, in which a shining diamond called Mani. Jewel. In Sanskrit is thrown from the head of a snake god Vasuki, which spreads natural beauty throughout the land. Manipuri is the official name of the language for the Indian government and is used by government institutions and non maiti authors. The term Manipuri is also used to refer to the Vishnupriya and people. Additionally, Manipuri, being a lokanam, can refer to anything pertaining to Manipur state. The term Mite is used by Maiti speakers who want political autonomy from India, so called revivalists. Dialects Maiti contains various dialects, however, in more recent years the broadening of communication, as well as intermarriage, has caused the differences between these dialects to become nearly insignificant. The only exceptions to this occurrence are the speech differences of the dialects found in Tripura, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. The exact number of dialects of Maiti is unknown. The three main dialects of Maiti include Maiti proper, Loi, and the Pangal. Differences found within Maite's dialects are primarily characterized by the extensions of new sounds and tonal shifts. Maiti proper is considered, of the three, to be the standard dialect, and is considered to be more dynamic than the other two dialects. Slight variations in dialects can be seen in the following table. Devi 2002 compares the Imphal, Andro, Kotruk, and Kakching dialects of Maiti. Phonology tone The Maiti language is a tonal language. There is a controversy over whether there are two or three tones. Segments Maiti makes use of the following sounds. Note the central vowel t is transcribed as in recent linguistic work on Maiti. However, phonetically it is never, but more usually, it is assimilated to a following approximant, with, out, j, e, j. Phonological processes velar deletion A velar deletion is noted to occur on the suffix eek when following a syllable ending with a, k, phoneme. Grassmann's law Maiti has a dissimilatory process similar to Grassmann's law found in ancient Greek and Sanskrit. Here, an aspirated consonant is deaspirated if preceded by an aspirated consonant, including, h, s, in the previous syllable. The deaspirated consonants are then voiced between sonorants. T and pierce plus court upward, T and pierce upwards, cow plus k ohm, utter, som, milk, high, trim plus tok outward, hydic, trim outwards. Writing systems Maiti script Maiti has its own script, which was used until the 18th century. Its earliest use is not known. Pamiba, the ruler of the Manipur kingdom who introduced Hinduism, banned the use of the Maiti script and adopted the Bengali script. Now in schools and colleges the Bengali script is gradually being replaced by the Maiti script. The local organizations have played a major role in spreading the awareness about its own script. 
Many Meitei documents were destroyed at the beginning of the 18th century during the reign of Hindu converted King Pamiba, under the instigation of the Bengali Hindu missionary, Shantidas Gose. Between 1709 and the middle of the 20th century, the Meitei language was written using the Bengali script. During the 1940s and 1950s, Meitei scholars began campaigning to bring back the old Meitei old Manipuri alphabet. In 1976 at a writers' conference, all the scholars finally agreed on a new version of the alphabet containing a number of additional letters to represent sounds not present in Meitei when the script was first developed. The current Meitei alphabet is a reconstruction of the ancient Meitei script. Since the early 1980s, the Meitei alphabet has been taught in schools in Manipur. It is a syllabic alphabet in which consonants all have an inherent vowel, a. Other vowels are written as independent letters or by using diacritical marks that are written above, below, before or after the consonant they belong to. Each letter is named after a part of the human body. There are some texts from the Maring and Limba tribes of Manipur, which were written in the Meitei script. Latin script There exists an informal, but fairly consistent, practical spelling of Meitei in Latin script. This spelling is used in the transcription of personal names and place names, and it is extensively used on the internet Facebook, blogspots, etc. It is also found in academic publications, for the spelling of Meitei book titles and the like examples can be seen in the references, below. This spelling on the whole offers a transparent, unambiguous representation of the Meitei sound system, although the tones are usually not marked. It is practical in the sense that it does not use extra alphabetical symbols, and can therefore be produced easily on any standard keyboard. The only point of ambiguity is found in the spelling of the vowels p and a, which are usually both written a, except when they occur before an approximant see table below. The vowel a is sometimes written as a to distinguish it from Eastern Nagari Bangladesh and India currently use Eastern Nagari. Grammar Number agreement Agreement in nouns and pronouns is expressed to clarify singular and plural cases through the addition of the suffixes koi for personal pronouns and human proper nouns and sing for all other nouns. Verbs associated with the pluralized nouns are unaffected. Examples are demonstrated below. When adjectives are used to be more clear, Meitei utilizes separate words and does not add a suffix to the noun. Examples are show in the chart below. Compound verbs Compound verbs are created by combining root verbs each ending with aspect markers. While the variety of suffixes is high, all compound verbs utilize one of two. Aspect markers appear as suffixes that clarify verb tense and appear at the end of the compound verb. Overall, the formula to construct a compound verb becomes root verb plus suffix plus aspect marker. Compound verbs can also be formed utilizing both compound suffixes as well, allowing utterances such as pithoningal meaning, want to give out. Number words Linguistic tradition the culture involved with the Mite language is rooted deeply with pride and tradition based on having respect to the community elders. Young children who do not know about the tales that have been passed on from generation to generation are very rare. Regarding the history behind the ancient use of proverbs that defines the way conversation is held with the Mite language, it is a way of expressing and telling stories and even using modern slang with old proverbs to communicate between one another. Singh has analyzed features of Meitei proverbs. The Meitei language is known to be one of the oldest languages in northeastern India and has a lengthy 2,000 year period of existence. It had its own script. The history behind the Meitei language itself comes primarily from the medieval period of northeastern India. See also Languages of India List of languages by number of native speakers in India List of Manipuri Poets Sahitya Akademi Award to Manipuri Writers References 1. A Short History of Kanglipak, Manipur Part 1, by Chingtamlan, 2005, 2. 
A Short History of Kanglipak, Manipur Part 2, by Chingtamlin, 2007 3. A Short History of Kanglipak, Manipur Part 3, by Chingtamlin, 2008 4. The Mite and the Bishnupriya, by Chingtamlin, 2008 Culture Brara, N. Vijayalakshmi, 1998. Politics, Society, and Cosmology in India's Northeast. Delphi, Oxford University Press. Buddha, W. 1992. Indigenous Games of the Maitais. Manipur, Wankimayam Publications. Shetramayam, Odijit, 2014. Ritual, Politics and Power in Northeast India, Contextualizing the Lai Haraoba of Manipur. Delhi, Ruby Press and Co. Singh, M. Kurti, 1988. Religion and Culture of Manipur. Delhi, Manas Publications. Singh, M. Kurti, 1993. Folk Culture of Manipur. Delhi, Manas Publications. Singh, Saikom Gopal, 2014. The Mitais of Manipur, A Study in Human Geography. Delhi, Ruby Press and Co. Language Bot, DNS, and Ningomba, S. 1997. Manipuri Grammar. Munich, Lincoln Europa. Chelia, Shobana L. 1990. Experiencer Subjects in Manipuri. In V. M. Manindra and K. P. Mohanan, eds. Experiencer Subjects in South Asian Languages, pp. 195-211. Stanford, The Center for the Study of Language and Information. Chelia, Shobana L. 1992. Tone in Manipuri. In K. L. Adams and T. J. Hudak, eds. Papers from the First Annual Meeting of the Southeast Asian Linguistics Society 1991, pp. 65-85. Tempe, Arizona, Arizona State University. Chelia, Shobana L. 1992. Bracketing Paradoxes in Manipuri. In M. Aronoff, ed. Morphology Now, pp. 33-47. Albany, State University of New York Press. Chelia, Shobana L. 1994. Morphological Change and Fast Speech Phenomena in the Manipuri Verb. In K. L. Adams and T. J. Hudak, eds. Papers from the Second Annual Meeting of the Southeast Asian Linguistics Society 1992, pp. 121-134. Tempe, Arizona, Arizona State University. Chelia, Shobana L. 1997. A Grammar of Métis. Berlin, Mouton de Gruyter. ISBN 0-19-564331-3. Chelia, Shobana L. 2002. Early Métis Manuscripts. In C. I. Beckwith, ed. Medieval Tibeto-Burman Languages, P. I. A. T. S. 2000, Tibetan Studies, Proceedings of the Ninth Seminar of the International Association of Tibetan Studies, Leiden 2000, pp. 59-71. Leiden, Netherlands, Brill. Chelia, Shobana L. 2002. A Glossary of 39 Basic Words in Archaic and Modern Métis. In C. I. Beckwith, ed., Medieval Tibeto-Burman Languages, P. I. A. T. S. 2000, Tibetan Studies, Proceedings of the Ninth Seminar of the International Association of Tibetan Studies, Leiden 2000, pp. 189-190. Leiden, Netherlands, Brill. Chelia, Shobana L. 2004. Polysemy through Metonymy, The Case of Métis Pai Grandmother. Studies in Language, 28 363-386. Doi 10.1075 SL 28.2.04 CHE. Chelia, Shobana L. 2015. Is Manipur a linguistic area? Journal of South Asian Languages and Linguistics, 2, 187 to 109. Singh, Ningdukongjam Kelchandra, 1964. Manipuri to Manipuri and English Dictionary. External links. Metii Maic, Metii script. Manipuri, Mithilan, an introduction. Mite Maic alphabet. Learn to speak Manipuri with the right pronunciation. Learn Manipuri. Learn Mithai Maic, Mithai script. E Pow. Net. Manipuri poetry.